Hi, I'm Geodav and in this video what we're going to do is have a quick look at a little problem you may find if you're using a new version of Blender and the new version of Unreal Engine 4. So let's start off a quick look at missed uh, splash screen. There we go. Right, I am now using Blender 2.7 five alpha okay if you want this go down go to blender.org and download the latest version we have at this moment in time saturday the 25th of july 2015 uh, why am i saying this uh, you'll see in a minute because uh, it is slightly important and i got a little bit miffed the other day because uh, I wasn't sure why it was happening, but, right, let's get on with it. Blender 2.75 Alpha, we go into Unreal Engine, I've got the third person blueprint template, as you can see here, already on my map, I have the new Unreal Engine 4.8 mannequin as they're calling it and if i can find it about unreal editor there we go i'm on actually on 4.8.2 i say this is very important at this moment in time now as anybody who's using blender and unreal engine 4 knows it's all a case of flux now what I'm going to do here is, well, I've already done this, but what you can do is, because I've got the animation starter pack, or, you can, or the mobile one, but what you can do, sorry for burbling that, yeah, here we go, third person, blueprint, character, mesh, SK mannequin, right click, asset actions, export and this will export it to your content folder of your project wherever that may be living so why is this important well here we go in blender what we're going to do is file import fbx now yes that's what i've done earlier uh, Content, here we go. E Unreal Projects template third person, blah 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 blah. Mannequin Escape Mannequin FBX import, and yeah, it is a little bit dinky. Uh, you, you may be wondering about my setup. Please look, watch my other Blender version setups. Uh, well, send it, setting up for Unreal Engine 4. Very important because as you can see here, my units are set to none, degrees, and I don't do the slightest bit of scaling or messing about because when you start doing things like that, it's okay if you're just doing a static mesh. It's okay if you're doing a skeletal mesh. But when you start wanting to put animations in there onto your skeletal mesh, when you start messing about with the scaling, whether you're scaling here or you're scaling on export or you're scaling on import, Sod's Law states is you will have problems. And that's what I try to avoid. Now, the biggest problem we have here at this moment in time is that if I come on, be nice to me. Uh, here we go. Now, when you are Unreal Engine, well, it's not just Unreal Engine. We used to have this issue with within Blender as well. When you export a FBX file from your program, the default uh, source development kit adds 
a extra bone or object on the base of your rig so to speak and names it the name of your file so as you can see here in the in the outliner we have something called sk mannequin and then root now the thing is if we try to import the or re-import this it is going to cause so many issues and pain in the neck the first thing that I always do in this case is just select that single item just left click it I know blend is right click but in this case in the outline it's left click all right go over here into the main room window and press delete okay and you go oh my god yes we have back to the mega scale of blender and because those who know blender really well far as I'm aware really works on the millimeter level so basically this guy is now what 2000 millimeters high which is not the sort of normal working area within blender but with it with it made like this let, let me just see if i can create a box create a cube and go to the cubes let the cube uh, uh, edit mode now uh, don't really like doing this but uh, uh, it's not uh, stop it uh, no what we're gonna do is so we don't get digressed too much here uh, come on geo uh, object mode delete yes now I was going to show you making a cube and all the rest of it so you could actually see in blender the actual height but if you're not too sure just try it out yourself and have a look okay so anyway we now have this at what is trust me the correct size now what we're going to do is make sure we've got nothing else in the scene just that and his bees knees and we'll go to file export fbx now as you can see yes i've done this before now i'm I'm just going to click on that SK Blender Test F FBX. That's the mannequin that I've done. Now, one thing, when I first done this, I thought, yeah, 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 bees knees, everything's tickety boo, export, and it ended up like some giant out of Jason and the Argonauts. But uh, I went in, I the only thing that I knew would have been changed is somewhere in the export FBX options. Now, one thing you want to make sure you untick here is add leaf bones. We do not need leaf bones. Unreal Engine doesn't use them. You only need that if you're exporting please correct me if I'm wrong or no don't bother uh, if you're exporting maybe to motion builder or Maya I don't believe Max uses those but uh, maybe some of the other options uh, 3d programs now this is something that you need to pay attention to with this version of the FBX exporter you, here it says apply unit what unit it applies I don't know scale all data according to current blender size to match default FBX unit centimeter 
some importers do not some importers do not handle unit scale factor properly. Right. Now, as you can imagine, this guy is quite big. So if we have that option ticked, I, I might be wrong here. So you've got that automatic leaf bombs every t every time you do every time you go to export check because for some reason it does not stay switched off neither does this one all right so at, at this moment the guy is in our mind uh, 200 blender units high now that'll make him or 2,000 blender units high, whatever it uses, and that'll make it 2,000 centimeters high, which is a little bit big because we only want him 200, yeah, two meters high. So untick that. I know I'm burbling, but please look, bear with me, and export. Now we go into into Blender. Uh, into Blender, into Unreal Engine, into my folder. Yeah, what, what's he doing? Import. There we go. Down to the bottom. Here. Open. Now, don't forget, compute normals, normals and tangents, whatever. It'll probably say burr. Uh, I may. I always. As you, as you know, if you've watched my videos, uh, I don't let it on default make a physics asset because uh, that's the way I am. And yet again, it's saying here no smoothing group. Uh, did I? Well, I don't know because no point in me going back to check now because Blender resets it to, to defaults anyway. It does not save your FBX settings not by default anyway might do if I switch it to user I suppose but just to double check here we go nice and happy correct size everything else you've got your your skeleton which you can retarget the uh, anim set from or if if you wish now I haven't tried this. Let's see whether that would work. But uh, let's just do something. <coughs> so any anybody else, anybody else who's say right, that's enough. I don't need any more than that. Thanks a lot. Switch off and go make yourself a cup of tea. Other people who want to listen to me burble will. Uh, Let's just do some sillies, shall we? Right, the first one we're going to. Now, this is. Uh, I'm going to show Geo up. Okay, because now it's saved it. Uh, operator presets. Uh, I suppose we could go. Uh, Geo underscore FBX. It's not even going for it. So you don't even know what you've got set. Yeah, okay, whatever. Right. So what we're just going to do is apply units. Right, and we're just going to Put a tick on that export, and I'll show you. Th this will show you exactly now. Yeah, I'm called GeoDev here. If you got your launcher and you see GeoDev, you can add, add, add me as a friend. Up to you. All right, here we go. Import. There we go. There he is. Same file size, everything else. And I let it make a new new skeleton and you think yeah look at that hey, hey hang on a minute uh, shouldn't it be down here somewhere 
Uh, yeah. Right. You can just <laughs> see the shadow. Now, something to, I mean, if, if you're doing something like, like I say, Jason and the Argonauts or Clash of the Titans, that, that might be what you want and might be a quick fix for issues that you need, but uh, uh, no. And the next one that we're going to do is we're going to export FBX. I'm going to untick that, make sure I've got leaf bones off. I'm going to add a third one. And so test to export, yep, fine. Uh, yeah, whatever. Alright, this time I'm going to import. I'm going to grab that one. SK Blender Test 2 open. And now I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. And if I can find it, uh, it should be SK Mannequin, something like that. It's going to be one of these. Uh, There we go, we're going to use that one. So there's no smoothing groups. We're going to open this one. It will open. And we think, yeah, okay, smashing. Let's go to the animations. Now, this is still the one that we're using because you can tell because it hasn't got any materials applied. So let's just have a quick look. Sprint forward. Now, why is, it, why is that not working? I don't know. I thought it might be worth a try. Where everything else looks fine. But, uh, uh, Now that's, uh, yeah, that's working, isn't it? There we go. We're reloading. Uh, sprint forward. Because it's our guy. Now you can see here that, for whatever reason, the IK bones are not working with it. So, <sighs> that's not my fault. It's not blenders either, but uh, so you can do it. It does go, and wish you the best of luck. And we'll leave it at that then. Have a nice day now.